Hey guys, I'm Mother Daughter Every Day. Today we're making stacked liquids. So let's get started. The ingredients and materials that you'll need are a clear jar. Here we're using an olive jar and this is a glass one. You'll also need some canola oil, water, dish soap, a little eyedropper, a measuring cup, 100% pure honey light pancake syrup or maple syrup and light corn syrup so let's get started so the first thing that you want to do and the most important thing is get your jar find out how much uh, liquid can fit inside of it then after you find out the amount of liquids that could be inside of it then you want to find out how many layers you want to do for this experiment or this project, I'm going to, to be doing six layers. So this holds about six ounces. So I'm going to put one ounce each for each layer. But every jar is different and every jar doesn't have the same mass or the same amount. So you, the first thing that you want to do is get that done but after all of that is done let's get right into it so the first layer is going to be honey and what you want to do is get a hundred percent pure honey we prefer a hundred percent pure raw unfiltered honey but if you don't have that a hundred percent pure honey will work as well but what you don't want is just plain honey because it's not thick enough and this is basically the layers are going to stay separate because of their density um, any type of honey flavored syrup, it's not going to work either. And organic raw honey, it's not going to work either because it's not 100% pure honey. So what you want to do is get 100% pure honey. I know this is very specific, but if you don't do it correctly, all of your layers are going to mess up and get smooshed together. And you'll end up with a honey mix, inedible honey mix of liquids. So you just want to get those ingredients and stuff right. So the first layer is going to be honey. And here I have uh, like one ounce of honey. So now all I'm going to do is pour it in. Now you want to get all of that honey out. And if you don't use the honey then well, I'll try to show you an end result of using like not 100% pure honey and it does not turn out everything mixes together so after this layer the next layer is going to be light corn syrup so so here I have the next layer which is corn syrup and now I'm just going to pour this in You want to get all of it out so you have an exact measure. Then after this, the next layer is going to be maple syrup. So the next layer is maple syrup and here I have maple syrup. And if you just want to see a quick thing, you see the layers are separated. So now I'm just going to slowly add in my maple syrup so they don't like mix together. And I'm going to scrape out all the excess. So our next layer is liquid dish soap. And here I'm using the dish soap that we have. So again I have one ounce of dish soap. Make sure to pour it slowly. It may sort of like mix with the maple syrup at one point when you first pour it in. But... Um, if you see a little bit later, it's going to, like, come upwards, if that makes any sense. This is how the layer looks so far. And from the bottom, like how you're usually seeing it, it looks sort of mixed, but towards the side, this is how it looks. So what you want to do for the water is tilt it on your side, or if you're still scared, then you can also use a dropper.
You want to do this very slowly so it doesn't mix with the soap sort of and make little bubbles. But on the side, it didn't make any bubbles. So we're going to go on to our last layer. The next layer is granola oil. And for this part, you want to slowly tilt it and just drop it. And no matter what, the oil never mixes with water, as most people know. So this part, you can sort of do it sort of fastly. But since we want to be sort of a little bit careful, so we just poured it in on the side very slowly and carefully. So this is how your end result will look. At the bottom we have honey in sort of like this clear yellowish thing right there. It's the corn syrup. Then the brown is the maple syrup. Next comes the liquid soap, water, and oil. If you want then you can add other layers like in between the maple syrup and the liquid dish soap you can also add milk. That's your personal choice. And between the water and oil you can also add some rubbing alcohol. It'll still float and if you want to get a little bit more creative you can add in cork pieces, dices, anything inside of this to make it look more prettier. And you can make it like to like find out how much uh, dice may weigh, how much density it may float in, but Hopefully you'll give this cool science experiment a try, and if you give it a try, uh, send a picture to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. But other than that, we'll see you next week. Goodbye.